What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys and today I'm going to be rating, ranking perhaps, the top players 80 overall through 99 in Madden 22. Now I assume guys this list is curated by players who were within this overall range or at least near it and had a good season in Madden 21 and the actual football season right. So these are going to be based off Madden rankings guys. So this was created by Landarov on Twitter so go give him a shout out, give him a follow, go try this out. Super cool, guys. Now, this is a very long list. If I do suspect this is getting too long, I will go ahead and try to make this a part two. Here's a lot of ratings. So, I suspect this is probably most of the top, you know, top players in Madden. This is going to be based on how I think they did based on last year, how they finished the season off, where I think they're going to land. Now, truth be told, guys, there may be a few guys here I don't recognize. I mean, so far, I'm pretty much picking up on just about everyone, but I may botch your name, but you guys will know. And I I'll know in my head who I was thinking of, but you guys know what I mean. So, Hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always, and let's get into this because this could take a while. Let's start off first with Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones, running back for the Green Bay Packers. Great season. Had a, had a great season. Great player. I suspect he'll probably be... So here's the thing with guys like Aaron Jones, you know, there's going to be a lot of running backs that are like in the top tier. So I suspect that Aaron Jones will probably end up being in the 85 to 89 range. I think it'll be like an 89 overall. High 80, low 90, perhaps. So I'm gonna put him right there. Next, we have Jair Alexander. Jair Alexander, I actually think, falls into the 90, 94 range. He's had pretty good ratings in Madden as of recently. Um, typically starts as a superstar X factor in the game. Should be up there. Next, we have Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper, in my opinion, probably ends up in the high 89 to 85 range. Had a down year, but it wasn't because of him. It's because Dak was out, but he would have had a great season otherwise. But I think he starts off in that range as probably a superstar. Um, next, we have 89 on the Ravens, which is Mark Andrews. I believe he's an 89 to 85 as well. Next, we have Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown had a pretty good end of the year, but because he's not the premier player that he once was, or the premier like pr of the offense, the top player on there, I think it'll probably be an 80 to an 85. Nice lower 80 overall. Still a great player. Edge of Madden, they don't, they're not going to give him the ratings probably. 91 for the... Um, 49ers now I I want to believe that that's DeForest Buckner although he's on the Colts now but I'm almost positive that's DeForest Buckner so DeForest Buckner probably ends up as a high 89 85 overall to start as well Saquon Barkley I think actually still keeps his uh, I think he's I think he's a low 90 I think they won't take that away from him he's still that great of a player he just got hurt I think he stays up there Derrick Henry I actually think may end up joining he may he may get the 99 club but I'm gonna give him 95 98 i think he ends up being like a 98 overall 97 over i don't know if he joins the 99 club just yet tom brady as well 95 to 98 overall won the super bowl but it's brady he's a bit older drew Brees is actually retired so i'm not going to be doing him but just for sakes of this i'm gonna put him at the bottom of 80 just to get him out of the way 99 i think that's a reek armstead again could be wrong a reek armstead probably ends up in the low 80 85 overall range right here Joe Burrow, I think, also starts as a low 80 overall, right around here as well. Now, the thing with Joe Burrow, just like Kyler Murray, Kyler Murray had a phenomenal rookie year and still is only 77 to 80 overall to start, so that's just kind of how it goes. Uh, 32 for the Seahawks. I want to say Chris Carson. Chris Carson, I think a low 80 overall as well. 55, Chandler Jones, going to be a 95 overall probably again. Um, at least up there. He's a, he's a great player. Going to be a top-tier Madden player usually. Um, I maybe kick him. Actually, I'll kick him down to this range. Probably 94, 93. Nick Chubb, I think, gets into this 94 range as well. Right above Saquon Barkley. Going to be a top-tier running back. Kenny Clark. Kenny Clark ends up being a 90 to 94. Defensive tackle. We have one of the Griffin brothers right here. Ends up being probably in the 80 range. Maybe high 80 range, but I'm going to go with the 80 range. Christian McCaffrey probably keeps his 99 club status in my opinion next we have dalvin cook dalvin cook's gonna be a top tier running back as well in the 90s uh had a great year probably the best running back of last year right there with derrick henry but i do think derrick henry gets the nod next we have kirk cousins low 80 fletcher cox probably gonna be a low 90 if i'm not mistaken 53 for the colts now i wanna i wanna say darius leonard but i'm not entirely sure so, so let's say that's Darius Leonard. If it's Darius Leonard, he's going to be a high 80. Next, we have Devontae Adams, 98 to 95. More than likely, like, probably like a 95 overall in Madden. Great year. 45 for the Falcons. Um, Deion Jones? Deion Jones is going to probably be a um, high 80, mid-high 80. 
the Mario Davis low 80 next we have 33 for the Colts I want to say Austin Eckler perhaps if that's Austin Eckler I think mid high 80s as well Stefan Diggs I think he's definitely going to be a low 90 he's got to be up there at least he had a great year uh, Aaron Donald keeps his 99 club status in my personal opinion it's Aaron Donald you just can't go wrong this is a really long list wow Kenyon Drake low 80 91 for the Buffalo Bills I want to go at Oliver probably low 80 as well um Ezekiel Elliott uh I want to say 89 89 overall for Zeke I think uh, set in terms of pure talent and everything, he's up there. But I think in terms of running backs, I don't think they're going to add him to that in the list of the Nick Chubb, Saquon Cook. I think it would be like a high 89. Evan Ingram, probably a low 80. I mean, he just hasn't had... He's, he's a freak athlete, but just statistically, he's just not up there. Zach Ertz is going to be a low 80 as well. Mike Evans, low 90. And next, we have uh, James Conner. James Conner may not even be an 80. Let's put him at the Drew Brees range. I need to create another range here. Um, 90 is that Trey Flowers, probably 85. Uh, we have Leonard Fournette after his good run at the end of the year with the Bucks. I think he ends up in the 80 range. Miles Garrett, I think Miles Garrett may join the 99 club. He's up there, like he starts off at like a 96, I think. 95, he's got to be getting up there. Oh, you know what? I'll keep him down here, but I think he's close to 99 club. Got to be up there. We have Geno Atkins, low 80. I actually, guys, I think I've almost hit all of them besides maybe one, but I'm actually been pretty good with this. Stefan Gilmore is usually in the 98 to 95 range. Chris Godwin, I think, will be a high 80 right below his counterpart, which is Mike Evans. Kenny Galladay, I think, will be a mid-high 80 on the Giants. Melvin Gordon, low 80. We have, um, oh my God, I know this guy's name. Uh, Linval Joseph, I think. Low 80s. Rob Gronk, I think, ends up in the low 80s as well. He had, a, he had a good end of the year, but I don't think they give him a high over. I think they keep him, like, at an 84, maybe. Todd Gurley may not even be in the... Uh, he'll be in the low 80s. 22 for... Is this, is this Byard? Is Kevin Byard? Oh, Lord. Byard, if it's Byard, I think he's going to be mid-high 80. Um, now, here we go. Uh, Donta Hightower, low 80. Tyreek Hill is super close to join the 99 club he's gonna probably be a 95 off the rip 97 maybe he's gonna be close he's gonna join if he has another great season gonna be in the 99 club really just a great come up story for him i mean from where what, what he was known as the gadget player and where he is austin hooper um low 80 we have deandre hopkins 99 club for sure i think he's gonna stay in there he had a great year uh just like he's been a great player for years um is this bad i don't know who that is yeah, you're going to go down there, buddy, because I don't know who you are. Oh, yes, I do. That's Marlon Humphrey. That's Marlon Humphrey. Marlon Humphrey's going to be a uh, low 90. Okay, so I see that I may have done Daniel Hunter already. Where was he? No. That's Limbo Joseph. I think 99 is Daniel Hunter. So Daniel Hunter is going to be a low 90. He's really good. Um, 54, I think that's Melvin Ingram, mid-80s. 28 jo Jonathan jo Jonathan Josh Jacobs high 80s Le'Veon Bell may not even be an 80 anymore put him at the bottom of this list um yeah I don't I, I don't I don't I, I won't know the college guys I mean I'm not sure if this list is updated if this is last year rookies but put them down there JJ Watt going to probably be a 98 to 8 98 to 90 95 to 98 even been the cardinals now it's definitely changed the scenery for him we got joey bosa joey bosa gonna be a high 95 98 as well gonna definitely be up there chris jones gonna be a 90 to 94 then we have cam jordan probably as well 90 to 94 now guys i'm gonna call it right there i'm gonna do a part two of this video for tomorrow so if you guys like it comment down below let me know if i made any mistakes let me know who you like who's your What's that hot take? Like, what's that hot take I had here that you guys just don't agree with? What's a hot take that you guys have? Like, should Fournette be in the 90s? Like, should Gronk be in the 90s or, you know, winning a bowl? Like, what do you think? Let me know down below, guys. If you have, if you want part two, smash the like button. Let me know down below. But that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. We still have another 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We still have, oh, 10, 11, 12, 13. Give or take. Give or take, guys, 13 times 4 minus 3. So, 13 times 4 is going to be, like, 52 minus four or three so like 51 so about 50 players left we have just about here so stay tuned for that guys but thank you for watching subscribe turn on that notify bell give this video a big thumbs up i'm out
Peace.